Welcome back, everyone. Sheepdog Smokey here, and it seems that Democrats are not going to be happy until they are literally standing at, in Washington screaming, you can't even run for office until you give us everything we want, and we will then use that to keep you from running for office. Let's dive in. California Senate passes bill that would keep Trump off 2020 ballot unless he releases tax returns. The California State Senate on Thursday approved a bill to require candidates appearing on the presidential primary ballot, including, including President Trump, to release five years' worth of income tax returns. The measure was approved in a 2710 vote, according to the Associated Press. California, for the first time, will be one of the first states to hold its presidential primary in the 2020 cycle. The bill is a response to Trump's insistence that he will not release tax returns as presidential candidates traditionally have done, claiming he is under audit. If the bill becomes law and Trump does not release his tax returns, <clears throat> he may not appear on the California primary ballot. We believe, that we believe that President Trump, if he truly doesn't have anything to hide, should step up and release his tax returns, said Senator Mike McGuire, Democrat, who co-authored the bill, according to the AP. All ten Republicans in the state Senate voted against the bill's passage. I get that playing the resistance card may be good politics for the majority party, but I would submit that it's bad policy for Californians, Senator Brian Jones, Republican, told the Wire Service. The state's legislature passed a similar bill in 2017, but then Governor Jerry Brown, Democrat, who did not release his own tax returns, vetoed the bill. A spokesman for Governor Gavin Newsom, Democrat, told the bill that if or told the AP that if the bill was sent to Newsom's desk, it would be evaluated on its own merits. Other presidential candidates would also be subject to the bill, but several 2020 Democrats have already released their tax returns. Trump is facing one primary challenger, former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld, Republican. Similar bills are making their way through the Washington and New Jersey legislatures. Now, this is good and bad at the same time. It's good because it outs these states as obey me, obey me, obey me. California has now said, I don't care if it's required or not by federal law. The entire country will now see that I am telling the President of the United States to obey me. It's bad because President Trump has run a multi-billion dollar, or at least a billion dollar, multi, he is worth three still, billion dollar business empire for years. If he releases his personal income tax returns, California will then say, no, we want all of them, business too. He releases that, and Don Jr.'s, and Eric's, and Ivanka's, and Kushner's, and Tiffany's, and Melania's, and, 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 and. We've already had people trying to get at his grandchildren's finances. They're trying to look at Tiffany Trump's college debit card use. She has nothing to do with the campaign from 2016 or his administration. She and Marla Maples are happy to live out their life. Donald Trump is happy to let them do that. He has a cordial relationship, a good relationship with Tiffany. He, she came to the inauguration. She's happy for him. But why in the hell does that mean Democrats get to say, let's look at her debit card use? What are they going to say? She used her debit card to buy uh, a comic book. Yeah, that's not authorized curriculum. Donald Trump must be impeached. We've reached full insanity. There is no federal law requiring this. As the presidency is a federal office, why in the hell is California saying the country isn't ruled right, we will change the rules? Lobby for Harris or Swalwell or Pelosi or Waters or any of them to introduce a law at the federal level and see how it goes. And the reason this is not happening is because the Democrats know they couldn't steal the Senate in 2018. So they know their Medicare for All crap will fail. They know their gun control will fail. They know this will fail. Donald Trump is a private citizen. And he may hold a public office. But we have, in this country, the right to be secure in our persons and papers and homes. There is no requirement that tax returns be released. We know from very recent history, and I'm talking the last few years, 
that when it is revealed that Amazon or Google or YouTube or Jeff Bezos or anyone uh, of the uber-rich pays very little to no taxes, the left demands blood. They demand that people be jailed, businesses be shuttered and shut down, and far more, because how dare they cheat on their taxes? And then when anyone says they didn't cheat, they used legal deductions. No, they did not. Here's the law. Well, that law's wrong. Lobby Congress to change it. Well, they won't. Then what do you want? I want them to pay more taxes. We have finally gotten, pardon me, we finally gotten liberals to at least be truthful. Truthful that they don't care what the law is. Truthful that they don't care what the rules are in any way, shape, form, or fashion. They demand obedience. Anyone pointing out that there is no law requiring Trump to release his tax returns, well, he's hiding something. No, he's not. The law is not there. There is no law. It is a personal choice. He has the right to make that choice. Whenever anyone points out that the rich don't pay their fair share, audit them. Oh, the audit showed they paid what was required? The, the audit shows they paid their taxes that were required by law? Well, it's not enough. Change the law. This is on every topic. People screaming about gun control, just do it. No, you can't just do it. You see, there's a problem called the U.S. Constitution. You have to get the 60% of the House, and 60, I'm sorry, two-thirds of the House and two-thirds of the Senate to pass an amendment to the Constitution. Then you must get three-fourths of the states to ratify that individually on their own, meaning 38 states ratify. That's, that, that's not fair. I don't like guns. I don't care. We're literally seeing toddler tantrums. These are people screaming, I don't like that he won't obey me, so make him obey me. And when you tell them, okay, lobby the U.S. Congress and the U.S. House and Senate and get them to pass a U.S. law, well, they won't do it, and I want it. This needs to be taken before SCOTUS. California has literally passed a law saying, we are making illegal what is not illegal in the, at the federal level. They are now literally saying the U.S. government will obey California. Now, on the other side, the third side of this, California, Jersey, and Washington are deep blue states. Okay? Jersey is just, it's just hell anyway. Washington, thanks to Seattle and Portland, goes blue. California, thanks to Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, and Sacramento, goes blue. So at least on one side of this issue, Donald Trump is being told, you can't run in a state you're not likely to win anyway. But it is setting a bad precedent. And unfortunately, if it doesn't go before SCOTUS and get struck down, then it will set a precedent that will ultimately be expanded to where California will say, well, it's, le it's illegal to be on the primary here. So now nobody can be on it. They're going to use that Every state must honor every other state's law, BS, which of course they don't because they rule that you can't have certain guns that other states say you can. I wonder if maybe somebody said, well, the state of Texas has specifically ruled that with my license, I can carry my handgun of choice, not of your choice, anywhere I like that doesn't put up a Texas Penal Code 30 out 6, 30 out 7 sign. Since you don't have those signs, I can carry anywhere I want. They're going to scream, well, no, our laws are different, our laws are different, our laws are different. But when it comes to their laws, we're not allowed to object to them. It's, it's getting to the point where we're about to crack. And when the country cracks and fractures, this won't be like 1860, where it's two conglomerations fighting each other over something that would have ended within a few decades because of Eli Whitney. This is going to fracture into possibly double digits or 10 or more states, maybe 15 or 20 or less, possibly 50 more, 50 st uh, states all on their own. And when that happens, of course, you're going to see Democrats demanding that every single state undo their secession and pay penalty fines and submit to all new rules, and when they can't force it, it will just, it'll devolve. This is step one. 
blue states telling red states and the Fed to obey them. I don't know what step two is, but we're, we're on a short little ladder to the country fracture. But I've talked about it long enough. Let me know what you think. Just remember to keep it civil. We don't learn from an argument. We learn from debate. As always, make sure to like, share, and comment on this video, as well as please do subscribe and activate notifications so that you're among the first to know of all new content as it is posted. Until next time, everyone have a wonderful day.